What's up, YouTubers? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. So, I got the Pixel XL, guys, and I got a couple of devices here that uh, I want to pick to run the benchmark and performance test, right? So, I got the Leco Lee Pro 3. Should I use this device? Nah. What about the Galaxy S7? Nah. What about the Honor 8? Honor 8? Yeah, no, we, we're not going to use the Honor 8. Uh, what about the LG V20? No. What about the iPhone 7? Nah. What about the OnePlus 3? Yeah. So let's go ahead and put these two Titans to the test. We got the OnePlus 3 and the Google Pixel XL. So get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric again with another video. So let's go ahead and run benchmark and performance between both of these devices. All right, so we got, we know the specs of the, of the uh, Google XL. Uh, we got the 821 processor, four gigs of RAM, all the bells and whistles, uh, and we know the specs of the OnePlus 3. We got the 820 processor, six gigs of RAM, all the bells and whistles in both devices. So I'm gonna run benchmark and performance and see which one is King Supreme. So right now, guys, I got both devices off. So we're gonna go ahead and do a, a boot and get both devices up and running. All right, guys, so we got fresh boots with both devices to make sure that uh, we don't have anything open. So we're gonna run three benchmark tests today, uh, which is Antutu Benchmark, Geekbench 4, GFX Benchmark, and uh, we're gonna check the temperature of both devices. So let's go on and run Antutu Benchmark on both devices. Okay, so the OnePlus 3 is done here. Uh, let's go ahead on and take a peep at the scores and we waited on the Pixel XL to uh, finish up the benchmark test. All right, so the 3D Maroon test, guys, uh, we have a score of 26 frames per second and the 3D Guard is 38 frames per second on the OnePlus 3. All right, so we waited on the Google XL to finish uh, the benchmark test. All right, so we got the, the Google XL uh, finally finished here. So we're running uh, 27 frames per second uh, and uh, 33 frames per second on the garden test. So I want y'all guys to see. So let's go to put both devices together here. Uh, and so uh, in the 3D Maroon test, uh, the OnePlus 3 lost by one frame. And in the 3D garden, the OnePlus 3 beats the uh, Google XL uh, by 38 versus 33, no big deal. So let's go to look at the other score of the Antutu benchmark test here. Okay, so we got the Google X Pixel XL at uh, 139534 uh, versus 139588 perspective they got. So Antutu benchmark test, uh, the OnePlus 3 win, but in the 3D, uh, we had uh, a split decision in uh, both devices. All right, so let's go to the get out of here and we're gonna run Geekbench 4. So the OnePlus 3 is done uh, and the Google Pixel is done now. All right, so let's go to look at both scores perspectively here uh, on Geekbench 4. So uh, the Google Pixel uh, ran a single core score of 1657 and a multi-core score of 4153 and a OnePlus 3 scored a 1741 and a 4168 perspectively. So there you go on um, both of those. Test, let's go to clear our apps. And let's go to our final uh, test, which is GFX Benchmark. So in this benchmark test, I only wanna run uh, the T-Rex test uh, like I always do here. So we're gonna uncheck everything and we're gonna only check the T-Rex test right here. And we're gonna run both devices, boom. All right, so uh, the OnePlus 3 is finished and we waited on the Google Pixel phone. All right, so uh, the OnePlus 3 uh, give you a score of 60 frames per second and uh, the Google Pixel uh, gives you a score of 56 frames per second. So not so bad. Uh, remember, uh, I always hear, held this with the King Supreme. So uh, there you go. So all three of the tests I did, uh, the OnePlus 3 beats the Pixel and you know, not too bad. Uh, we had a split decision on one test, but overall the OnePlus 3 beats the Google Pixel. All right, so let's go to get out of that, clear all apps, 
clear all apps. All right, so let's go to and do performance. Let's see which device will open up apps the fastest. Like I always do, let's go to go to our social media. All right, let's open up Twitter. Boom. All right, so Twitter opened up at the same time on both devices. Let's go ahead and open up Telegram. All right, so Telegram opened up uh, the same on both devices. Let's go ahead on and uh, open up Facebook. All right, so Facebook opened up just a little hair faster on the OnePlus 3. All right, so let's go ahead and open up uh, YouTube. All right, so you will call that with a tie, kind of both of them open up the same time. Uh, but overall, both devices kind of open up what and what. Uh, but you got to remember, guys, this device, the OnePlus 3, costs 400 bucks. I got the 128 gig Pixel phone that hit, hit me for almost a thousand dollars. But let's go ahead and check the temperatures on both devices. All right, guys, so as you can see, uh, the Google Pixel phone is just a little tad warm. Uh, versus the one plus three. So let's go on to see is it hot? Well, we have a little warmth here. All right So the device is a little warm. Uh, I sent it about 118 degrees. This is Fahrenheit uh, The one plus three is cool. It's pretty cool All right, so the one plus three is pretty cool uh, versus the Google Pixel phone. So there you have it guys. Overall, I want you to be the judge for yourself what, uh, when it comes down to benchmark test and performance between both devices. Now, yes, I do know that you got a quiet HD screen versus uh, a 1080p screen. So we all got to take that into account when we look at both devices, but the Google Pixel phone still runs smooth as butter because it's stock Android. But the OnePlus 3 is still King Supreme of 2016. For the price, for the price. This is Eric from Music Computer Solutions. Leave the questions down below. Let me know what you think about both of these devices in all their glory. I like them. I like both devices. But the OnePlus 3 is always my benchmark device that I use to test every device out there. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.